You ever hear of something your whole life and you wonder, what is that? Yorkshire pudding. Bill Cosby's not going to be advertising this anytime soon. It's not pudding like you're thinking of, but we're going to make some Yorkshire pudding on Cooking Under the Influence today. If it sucks, I'll still freaking eat it. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour. I'm Sean, and you're not. You may have probably heard of, but you never had, never tried it, never had any idea what the heck it is. Yorkshire pudding. It's not like banana pudding or vanilla pudding or chocolate pudding. Not what you think. A crazy ass thing. You'll see. It's weird. But before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. We're going to be making Sazerac cocktails. Awesome stuff. Get you some absinthe. A New Orleans classic delicious, wonderful drink. Remember I did an absinthe episode? This shit was crazy. Alright, just get a little bit of absinthe, coat the glass, and drip some on the floor. You can use Herb Saint or Pernod. <coughs> Don't drink absinthe straight. Ugh. This is some rye whiskey. Rye. You can use bourbon. You can use cognac. Oh my god. The one thing that you need, you have to have for it to be a Sazerac, is Peixos bitters. Not Angostura bitters, not some other kind of bitters. Peixos bitters. A couple of dashes of that. Get you a lemon that you put, plucked off your lemon tree. We're just going to get a little bit of lemon zest. Twist. Ooh, that's good. Really good. Here's one of the weird things. What are you gonna how do you make a Yorkshire pudding? First thing we're gonna do is make a roast beef. I'd love to make a prime rib. A prime rib roast or a standard rib roast. Great little eye of the round roast. It's like 10 bucks. Friggin' awesome. It's a pain in the butt to take the paper skin off of garlic. So put it in the microwave for like six, seven seconds. That's it. Sean, what are you doing? Why are you making a roast beef when you want to make pudding? Yorkshire pudding, it's not a dessert. It's not what you're thinking of. We'll get to it, but first, trust me. Nor is it low calorie. Yay. Thin knife. Stab some holes into your roast. Jam the garlic down into the holes that you stabbed. That's why you can make them when you're cooking under the influence because there's not a lot of paying attention to shit. But I'm going to use this casserole pan thing here, you'll see why. Put your roast in your roasting rack. Simple. Get you a little B and V. I've used it before on here. It's great stuff. It's like it's like essence of beef. Drizzle that over your roast. The only one problem about the eye around roast is it's not real fatty. And that's one thing you want when you're making Yorkshire pudding is a fatty kind of cut of meat. But this will do just fine. Don't worry. That was all Juicy and bloody and delicious. Folks that like your beef well done, fuck you. If you want to eat meat, then eat some freaking meat. Don't turn it into freaking leather. Go gnaw on your shoe if you want that. Oh God, really? We're going to wait till the meat internal temperature gets to like 140. I don't know how long it's going to take. Maybe a half an hour or so. Just follow along. Get a bowl and a measuring cup. In your measuring cup, let's do four eggs. All right, how much is that? That's like right around a cup with the same amount of milk as we had egg, which is right around a cup. Get you some flour. This is just plain old bread flour. You can use whatever flour you want. Whole wheat flour. Yeah, because you're going to make this healthy. Uh -huh. sure. right, however much eggs you put in, that's how much flour we're putting in. So about a cup of eggs, cup of milk, cup of flour. All right, I'm gonna throw in just a dash of salt, like a teaspoon or so of salt. Whisk. You make like kind of a batter. So if you're a vegetarian, you just fucking shit out of luck. All right, obviously this is not a vegetarian meal. All right, this is your Yorkshire pudding part. 
It's like the consistency of pancake batter. It's pretty thin. You know, there's no sugar, there's no Splenda, there's no saccharin, none of that shit. This is not a sweet pudding. You make it, you mix it with beef fat. Beef fat pudding? You know what I'm gonna do? I've never done this, made this thing before. This may come out horrible. Hang on, I have an idea. Oh my god, that sounds so disgusting! I'm gonna get some damn mushrooms. Alright, this, this isn't in the recipe. I just kind of thought of this, like, just now. Mushrooms go so good with beef. These are portobellos and uh, shiitakes, because the uh, shiitakes were accidentally placed into the bag with portobellos, but I only paid for the portobellos. But we don't have to go into that right now. Always grateful for the checkout people that, that work at a grocery store and don't know what they're selling. Time for a refill! Sazerac's kick your ass. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey. No, really, there's people in New Orleans that don't know how to cook. I mean, really? All right, mushrooms in the bottom. Just saute them real quick. How do you not know how to cook? Didn't you watch your mom make red beans and rice and shit? Ugh. And vegans, y'all can kiss my... Okay, mushrooms, sure. Vegan, vegan, vegan. Ah! Or milk. I'm having milk in my coffee. I ain't, ain't changing that. And there will be butter. And we're going to put them on the side. Alright, let your little mushrooms cool down there. Because it's good. Like I said, the only problem is I around roast is not very fatty. So it doesn't make a lot of drippings. So let's base it with some beef, uh, beef stock. Sure, why not? If it sucks, I'll still freaking eat it. Let's see how, what the temperature's like in it. Oh, fuck, my glasses. When am I gonna learn? Instant read. This is slower than my old thermometer. Sazerac. All right, we're right at 140. Perfect. All this shit just to friggin' do damn Yorkshire pudding. I had to cook a whole fucking roast. Take this roast, put that on the side. All right, you see all your little drippy part here? Oh, it looks good. It smells even better. Well, let's add our mushroom sorry, you have to put it better. Got this hot pan, hot drippings. Let's add that shit. All up in there. Now, this looks weird. Let's put our beef fat pudding in there. What do you do when you traumatize me? You let it rest. While it's resting, the Yorkshire pudding, the Yorkshire pudding can put. Again, vegans. You're just fucked on this show. Sorry. The Yorkshire pudding do. Oh, it kind of rises and gets puffy. We'll call that put eyes. It's sort of like a souffle. Too bad. I don't care. It's been, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Let's see how this thing's done. Oh boy. This is weird. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. It's out. It's fucking hot. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, it's poofy. It's kind of like a souffle. We'll go with that. Got this kind of souffle, poofy, mushroomy thing going on here. All right. I'm just, I'm just making shit up as I go. You know, that's the, the best way of cooking. Make shit up as you go. The kind of sad part is I made this nice salad with avocados and tomatoes and all that shit. I don't feel like eating it. But I have another idea. No problem. Yorkshire pudding, it poofs up and then it unpoofs. It falls like a souffle. So don't panic over that. It's supposed to do that. I'm gonna make me a good old fashioned New Orleans roast beef. Oh boy. Just a little one. Nothing exciting. Make it dressed. In New Orleans, when something's dressed, it means it's got at least lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise on it. Or mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, as we call it up in here. Lick the mayonnaise off your hands, because you just smashed your hand right into the mayonnaise. See what our Yorkshire. Let's move all this lettuce off the damn Yorkshire pudding. See what that's like. What does it taste like? Nice. Very nice. Mushroomy. Mmm. Roast beef po boy. Alright, I'm real happy with this. This is good. There you go. Yorkshire pudding! It's not really pudding. It's it's freaking beef fat and mushroom soup play. But till next time, thank you for watching. Bon appetit! And adios. I'm a kid in the candy store. I'm a 
bull in a china shop I'm a tired old metaphor 